Warner Brothers brought Aquaman to theaters with Thursday preview screenings, and the superhero movie is already off to a big start at the box office. The DC film's superhero adventure took in an estimated $13.7 million from Thursday screenings, according to Box Office Mojo. The site is projecting a strong opening weekend between $70 million and $80 million, going up against Paramount's Bumblebee, Universal's Welcome to Marwan and SDX's second act, plus Disney's Mary Poppins Returns, which opened on Wednesday. The $13.7 million Thursday tally is just ahead of the $13 million earned by the last Zoom movie, 2017's Justice League, which went on to debut with $93.8 million. It also falls just behind last year's hit Marvel Cinematic Universe movie Thor, Ragnarok, which brought in $14.5 million en route to a $122.7 million debut. The $13.7 million tally includes the $4.7 million it earned from the exclusive Amazon Prime member screening on December 15 and RELD previews on Wednesday. Jason Momoa stars as the title character, aka Arthur Curry, leading a strong cast that includes Nicole Kidman as his mother Atlanta, Amber Heard as Mara, Willem Dafoe as Voco and Dolph Lundgren as Nereus. Momoa's Curry was the bastard child of Lana from the underwater kingdom of Atlantis and Tom Curry, Tamura Morrison, a main lighthouse keeper. A product of two different worlds, Arthur is sought by Mara to take his place as rightful heir to Atlantis and unite both worlds. Aquaman is already a box office hit internationally, taking in $266.4 million from foreign markets, as of December 16. The bulk of that tally comes from China, where it's earned $189 million since opening in the Middle Kingdom on December 7. Director James Wan's Zoo Adventure will open in 4,125 theaters starting Friday, armed with a solid 66% rating from critics on Rotten Tomatoes. Momoa's Aquaman was first introduced on the big screen in 2016's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. He returned in 2017's Justice League, and with the early success of Aquaman, it seems likely that a sequel will happen. A profile of Amber Heard by The Hollywood Reporter in early December revealed Warner Brothers is already considering a sequel, though no writer has been brought aboard to work on the script yet.